to create a query, go to create. Uh, we're going to do query design, although there are different ways to make them. I want to ask the question, who are my gold level customers? So I'll need my customers table, add it, so it's in here. Uh, and then I can close this. I want to know their first name, their last name, and I'll, of course, need to check to see their level, if they're gold level or not. Um, let's just see what would happen if we run this in, the current, in its current form. We see that it lists all of our customers along with their level, but I want just the ones with gold. So if I go back to Design View, on the criteria line for level, I can put gold, and now when I run it, I get only my gold customers. That's a simple query with a criteria field. I'm going to call that gold level customers. Okay, I'd like to ask one more question. What are my most profitable items? Which ones sell the best? So I'll make another query. This time, again, I'll do design view. But this time, uh, I'll need, let's see, product. But I'll also need my orders. Notice that I have a link between these, uh, and you need that for making your queries. Make sure that whatever tables you have up here are linked to one another in some fashion, that they're related to one another. So I want a list of all the items that I've sold according to my orders table, and also their costs. If I run that, I see all these things I've sold, all the individual orders, but I'd also like to know how many I've sold of each, so I'll go back to Design View and include quantity as well. I would like to have that in front, so I'll single click, let go, and then click it again and drag till I have that line so it moves to the front of that. Okay, so I see I've sold three bow ties, two fez. Another time later, I sold one fez, so really I've sold a total of three fez. I've really made like $60 off the Fez, right? Uh, in order to find out how much I've made in, for each order, let me add a calculated field here, which will just be the cost times quantity for that item. Uh, so it's going to be, we'll call it gross. In math, I would just write gross equals quantity QTY times cost. But unfortunately in access you have to write gross. Instead of equal you put a colon. Uh, for quantity, to let it know it's a variable and not the word quantity, you have to put hard brackets around it. And then that will be true for cost as well. And then we don't have, uh, you can't just use an X for times in access, you have to use a star. So this is what I will use instead in this line. If you have a really big formula or function, if you have a really big function, then you can go to Builder, type it here where you have more space. Whenever you're done, whatever you've typed here, when you click OK, we'll go down here. Now let's run it again. Uh, okay, so it looks like Sonic Screwdrivers might be my best seller. However, I've sold Fez a couple of times, so I'd like to group all my Fez sales together. And remember, I may have a thousand orders, not just five like we have here. To group those together, uh, I will click on Totals in Design View. It gives me this extra line, Group By. I want to group by the item. Maybe that's my Fez, my TARDIS ornament. Um, and then for quantity, I'll just sum those. So basically, this puts all the Fez in one pile and all the TARDIS ornaments in another, etc. And for those things in each pile, I, I want to add up the quantity and then the cost, as well as the, really the main one I want to add is the gross profits. I want to make I want to look at my pile and add up how much I made off each order for the fezes and then how much I made off each order for the TARDIS. Add those together so I see how much I made for each of the items, right? So I know I had three fezes overall and that was going to be three times $20 each. 
so that's 60. And at this point, I don't necessarily need to know the sum, the total number sold. I just really want to know how much I made off them. So I can remove those, have them not show, but click the checkbox for show on there for those fields. Now when I run it, I really just have the information I want, but I'd like the one that uh, earned the most on top. So I can put that on the sort line for gross in descending order. And that gives me the answer I want. And I'd really like to save it most profitable items. And the last thing I'd like to show you is creating a report based on one of your query results. So You'll single click the one you want to make the report on, click create, click report. Um, it doesn't look quite as nice as I would like it to look, but this would do the job. Um, if I want to make it look more attractive though, I can click delete. I don't need that line. So I'll click and delete that. I don't really need the page number, click and delete. And I don't necessarily need the date or the time. I don't necessarily want the alternating bands of color. So I'll click here in the page area, but not inside any of the specific fields, and change the alternate row color to white. I don't actually like the boxes around these, so I might also get rid of that, make them transparent so you don't see them. Okay, now going into design view. I can make my overall page a bit smaller by pulling that over. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that might be something I would turn into my boss. And I'll call that report most profitable items. You want to make sure you've closed all of the objects and have properly saved it have not already done so. If you have, it should have been saving all along, but if not, at this point you'll do a save as. Give it a name and a location. 